y'all. Welcome back to Two and a Half Acres. My name is Mark. I'm Jamie. And the wife talked me into some more goats. Why is that? Well, because... <laughs> 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 okay, first thoughts. <laughs> and that's Millie. She says hello. All right, so why do we need some more goats? Because you can never have too many goats, for one. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> and the main reason is we wanted to add blue-eyed, more blue eyes to our herd. So I was, I was wanting two more blue-eyed does, but we ended up getting a package deal of three, two does and a buck. One doe has blue eyes, one has brown, and then the buck has blue eyes. So. That's what we got. They're all horned though. I was hoping to get at least one pole, but that's okay. Yeah, there's always more, you know, get more later on what you want, right? <laughs> <laughs> the goat lady has spoken. All right, so um, let's introduce you to them. And uh, we need some help uh, naming them, right? Yes. So um, I guess you can just put the colors down, what you think their name should be. And um, because they need some names. So here we go. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Millie. Hi Millie. So another reason that I wanted to get more now is because it's almost breeding season and I wanted to get some does that were either already bred or that we could breed close to the same time as our other ones. Um, so she wasn't sure if these were bred but right after we got them uh, the two does went into heat so mm -hmm. I am pretty sure that they are bred now. I'm gonna watch next month to see if they go back into heat. If not, they should have babies early February. So, um, we're fixing to put the other ones into, we're fixing to separate them and put them into their little groups for breeding. <laughs> so, Bucky, we are probably gonna put with Mocha, because they had, they ended up having maple, you know, the real pretty one that looks like him. So we thought that was a good pairing. So we're going to put them together again this year. And then we're also going to put him with, oh, with Daisy. Um, and another reason that I'm going to put them together is because Mocha and Daisy are both pulled. So my hope is that, you know, they'll have a chance of, their babies will have a chance of being pulled as well. So we're going to put Elliot, which he's our pulled buck that was born um, in January. We're going to put him with a Cookie uh, and maybe Maple. I'm not 100% sure yet if we're going to breed Maple yet. I'm going to weigh her and make the decision. She's, a, she's bigger than her mom, so she's probably okay, but I just haven't quite decided yet. But that is another pairing where um, both Cookie and Maple are horned um so that's why i'm putting them with elliot so that they have a chance of 
hold babies as well. So before we separate them and get them all um, in their different uh, fields or whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we are going to make sure that I'm going to trim everybody's hooves and I'm also going to give the ones that I think need a copper bolus, we're going to go ahead and do that too. And then hopefully by this weekend we will get them separated and get breeding season on its way. Daisy, what are you doing in there, silly? feeder has this lip on it where the dog chewed on it it's got this lip that's why goat in the world. Literally, I think it is. She's got a copper bolus down in here. There it is right there. And a banana. And this thing's holding it pretty good. Put some feet in there, and then all the goats want to get a pedicure. Stay back. around and we'll find a snake. <laughs> 